Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. So in the last episode, uh, I got my ass kicked. I'm going to just put it straight out there. The IJN, I, don't, I keep calling them IGN, I've noticed in my videos. I need to stop that. I need to call them the IJN, the Imperial Japanese Navy, not IGN, the uh, gaming website. Uh, yeah, so they, uh, they, they did a really good job. So the submarine, as you know clapped the Brooklyn, the Northampton, and then uh, out of me not paying attention and being an idiot, uh, a torpedo was able to hit the Jenkins here. These, uh, This Task Force 6 had just dropped off all the supplies and units on Guadalcanal, so we're at 4,400 and 1,800 supplies. They are going to be on their way back to the base to load back up probably, I don't know, because this one, they're going back right now, they're going to be strictly supplies. I'm going to load up supplies on all the destroyers, the C3s, and uh, that'll give us, well, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe do uh, troops on the destroyers and then supplies on the C3s because I think they can carry 2,000 supplies, if I remember correctly. And then, likewise, we'll even it out for uh, this task force once they get back. We might have to retire the Northampton and the Brooklyn only because they got hit pretty heavily. So, we'll see once we get there. But we also have this task force right here that is being chased down by the battleships, the heavy cruisers, light cruisers, and destroyers. That's kind of a recap of where we are. Uh, it's 9.59 in the morning. Let's rock and roll. All right, to start things off, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these Avengers start roaming around. The same thing with some B-17s if we got them. We do. I want them to start roaming around because... Whoa, 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 new course, new course, new course. You can come over here and we'll shoot up there. I know you're not going to have the range for, oh, you will, 722. We'll do that or something. We need to make sure that there's not going to be any task force, whatever, from the IJN that are coming up here and bombarding Port Moresby or Cooktown. I don't think they'll bother Cooktown too much because it's way too far for them, but Port Moresby is definitely an option, so... We'll start getting some uh, patrols going through here with torpedo bombers, Avengers, B-17s. And uh, yeah, anyways, let's start getting this going. We need to get some more supplies back to Guadalcanal and we're going to deal with this big bastard right here. All right, so the B-17s have made it to the task force, the IJN task force. They are within range. It's 1034 in the morning, so we'll have plenty of sunlight. It'll be clear, hopefully. And uh, loaded with 2,000 pound HE bombs. Let's try and knock out one of these battleships. All right. Where is everything? Oh wait, this is my task force, isn't it? <gasps> oh lovely, you guys just keep on cruising then. Where's the battleships? Are they up front? They sure are. Hell yes. Alright, so this is the one we're going for, right here. Let's go ahead and get this targeted for everybody. This group, as well as this group. There you go. We can even... Identify it for you if that helps. It is going to be a Congo class, definitely. There we go. So that is identified. Let's get this show on the road. All right, everybody. We're going to get him in position and we are going to do a line formation. And we're going to do that right now, actually. Start getting these guys formed up into a line ahead formation. Form up. Same with you guys. Form up. And that way, when we do the uh, when we do the bombing run, and this is just my theory, they're gonna go right over the top of that battleship and just pummel it, hopefully, with uh, bombs, all sorts of he. All ahead, turn. All right, just the next thing we want to do. We want to make sure that everyone is selected. Open up the bomb doors. We're doing this. We're going to get ready. We're going to turn into that Congo, and we are going to lay some death and destruction. Let's do it. Here we go. Getting close. Let's get ready for this beautiful attack, which will be the demise of the Congo. I don't know why they're not in formation. I told them to line up, and now they're breaking up. I am confused. Oh, bombs away. All right. You guys uh, get the hell out of there. Survey says. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. 
Got the second wave going through here. Must be dropping soon, right? There they go. Bombs away. Bombs away. Get the hell out of there, everybody. Here they come. Strike two. Oh, disgusting. Just disgusting. I love it. Oh, yes. That was phenomenal. Congo sinking. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Did we lose a lot? We've lost uh, four, four B-17s, unfortunately. All right. That was a successful bomb run, in my opinion. So we lost... Come on, get out of there, buddy. I believe in you. Get out of there. We lost four B-17s in the attack. Uh, oh, you should be taking damage for that. But we sunk a battleship. So that is one less battleship that we have to worry about when we go up against these guys. I'm more inclined to actually attack them now because I'm not too worried about them. They might push back, though, which will give us the option for the Gato to uh, get some uh, carnage in. Maybe we can take out the other Congo. And then we'll be... Oh, that'll be great. But hell yes, I am excited about that. Freaking fantastic, sir. Good run. There she goes. Have a moment of silence. God, the creaking sound. I know I said it in the last episode, but that, that creaking sound is... Uh, the devs did a really good job of just making it really eerie. There she goes. Down to Davy Jones. Alright. So... Four B-17s lost. One Congo taken out. And our convoy is still on the run. There we go. 32,000 tons sunk. One Congo down. 32 command points gained from that. Wow. That's really good. All right, so they were able to catch up. We have one battleship down, two heavy cruisers, two light cruisers against our two destroyers. We have two heavy cruisers and two light cruisers as well. Um, I think what we're going to do is they're chasing. So if we can still run away and I can get another strike with the B-17 groups up here or even get the Gato down here and take out that next Congo, we are going to be sitting pretty. Let me tell you. So let's go ahead and begin this battle. And uh, we're on the run. Oh shit, it was a frickin'. It was a sub attack. Not a. I thought it was gonna be the other attack. Oh Jesus Christ. Hard to port, hard to port. We're gonna take some hits here. Throw on you. You need to start searching. Come on, come on, come on. I totally thought we were waiting for the Congo. Throttle down, throttle down. Thread it. Oh man, we took one. God bless it. God bless it. Man, I totally thought that was the task force of the Congo and everything, so I was wondering, like, where are they? Looking around, getting everyone to speed, and then sure enough, these freaking torpedoes uh, show up. So we took one on the Astoria. Let's see what the report is for her. Minor, minor. Okay, I'll take minor damage. That's good. Uh, we have our destroyer out on the hunt. So let's get going. Get her back up to 37 knots. I swear I just saw something right here. We're gonna get this bastard. We're not not accepting that. We're not doing this again. We're not letting, this is the second time that bastards hit us. This submarine needs to go because the captain on that sub is doing uh, too well, too well. All right, news, we found him. I don't think you guys can see it. Maybe you get close to the screen, but right here, here's the outline. We haven't picked them up yet on radar, but damn it. You can just see them in the water when they're they're close. You see how it's just kind of a... There's a little difference in the water. It just doesn't look the same. The nice, It doesn't have the same sheen. So there he is, and it looks like we're going to go right over him. So let's go ahead and uh, lower our speed. Let's get some uh, depth charges here ready. All right, there we go. Coming up the rear. Let's go ahead and drop speed. Make sure we're... Uh, Coming up on the right side here. We got depth charges just about ready, lining up nicely and straight ahead. Good solution, five seconds. This is the one from the last episode that got our convoy, but we found him. We bloody found him. We're straight over the top. We are straight over the top. This is gonna be marvelous. Get ready. 
Look at him. In all his glory. As soon as we get about halfway, I use, I like to wait until the rear of the boat is right about... Oh, is he dr He's diving? All right, let's go six seconds. Just in case. We're still on good angle. Yep. Here we go. Fire. And drop speed down to 10 knots, please. He's going further. Drop more. Oh, direct hit. Direct hit. I saw it. He's dead in the water. Let's go ahead and stop. We went over him. We got to reverse back. All right, we've reacquired him. Let's go ahead and do eight seconds. Oh, he's blown the emergency valves. He's got to come up. I think he's coming up. We got eight seconds on these depth charges. That should be good enough. Yeah, he's definitely coming up. Blow up right next to her, right on top of her. Oh, that's going to be brutal. Oh, right on top of her. Right on top of her. Good night. Is she still coming up? There she goes. Type B sinking. There we go. It was a good game. Mr. Submarine, you did some work. I will, I'll give you that. Much respect. All right. Bring back the menu here. Great work. La Valette. What's our report for our other ships here? Minor, minor still. 3,700 tons sunk. Six command points gained from that. Let's go ahead and retreat. Ah, that's one less submarine we got to worry about. Awesome. In all seriousness, you know, the, the people that are in submarines, my hat's off to you. That, that has to be the most, the, by far, the most scariest. Uh, in my opinion, I guess. The most scariest job in the Navy, just being on a submarine, and especially when you watch something like that, right? I mean, depth charges, those guys that went through World War II in submarines. Wow. All right, so that's one submarine gone. We are still being chased by this battleship, the heavy cruisers. Are the B-17s back at base? They are, so we can actually... <gasps> can we relaunch them? Can. We can get four. Okay. I wish these guys could actually reach. All right, so we got a group of B-17s ready to rock. They have a course set coming up here. We only have four of them. And uh, so question to everybody, how do I, cause I'm trying to figure it out. How do I know how many planes I have like in a squadron? So we have four B-17s, we had eight, but how do I know like you have eight of 32? Where do I go to look for that? Cause I'm going to, if I'm going over here to try and figure that out. I don't know. Like, it doesn't tell me. And I, I must be doing something wrong to actually see how many are here. So, I would love to know that. If you guys could just comment down below. Help me out here. I know you don't have that much space, but we just gotta send you anyways because we already did. I'd like to know. Because then, how long is it going to take to replenish some B-17s? So, we're to have a plan. We're going to continue this uh, chase, if you will. The IJN chasing us. We are gonna cruise left and then shoot up in between the islands here. And we are gonna have the Gato come down and hopefully we'll be able to intercept this task force right here. So with the B-17s coming, we're gonna target that other Congo battleship. And then with the Gato, once it gets in, if we get lucky enough, cause it's slower, obviously, um, we might be able to take out this whole task force. We also have this coming actually. Hmm, we could. The Northampton is pretty hurt, right? Yeah relatively hurt, we could break off all these guys and we could just absolutely demolish. That might be, that might be an option. All right, so we are still uh, getting away and we are still being chased, but we have spotted them again with the Kingfisher. We have the B-17s just about three quarters of the way over and Task Force 2 is just about ready to get over to New Hebrides. Uh, Guadalcanal, how you doing? 3,800 troops and 1,600 supplies. Not doing too good, but the men are uh, still kicking ass, staying in there. All right, so quick update. We are still on our way out. I think we're gonna change course here, actually. We need to rendezvous with this Gato 
sooner rather than later. So we're going to go straight up. We've got a Kingfisher flying around with 211 miles left still. Um, he's doing great. Let's just do some zigzags around here. Try and find this task force again. And we got the B-17 group that is about three quarters of the way. So as soon as we can locate him, we are uh, we're going to bomb the hell out of him. That's the plan. All right, here we go. B-17s have made it. We have the battleship. That is our primary goal. We only have four B-17s, but this is looking really good. We could break off Task Force 6. Break off... Uh, well, the Hamptons hurt, right? Hampton's not as hurt as bad, though. We might break off like the Radford and the Northampton, and we got the Gato coming in, and we are... We're going to pincer them. We're going to destroy this fleet. These guys are headed back to Guadalcanal and the resupply. Anyways, let's do this. No further ado, B-17s in action. Let's rock and roll. All right, here we go. They are lined up. Attack. Oh, yes, this is looking good. Don't drift apart. Stay line ahead. You're killing me, Smalls. I don't know why. Just line ahead. Line up. And then attack. We just got to keep doing this, I guess. Line up. And attack. All right. Let's get ready for it. Bombs away here soon. Oh, man. They drifted way too far apart. It's killing me. Bombs are away. Oh, yes. Let's see it. Good hits, good hits. Here they come. Yes! Oh, man. Just missed everything. We got one solid hit on him. We can take that. Let's go ahead. Get out of town here, gentlemen. Fly away. Got one B-17 going down, unfortunately. It's going to be minor damage, I'm sure, for that Congo. Minor and minor. Yep. That's okay. Not as strong as the last one. Our fleet's still uh, charging forward. Sweet. All right, so final report. Minor and minor on the Congo. It wasn't that good of a run. Uh, we need some dive bombers. We need some dive bombers. I could do the B-17s coming from Starboard or Port. Maybe that'll be much better to do. And uh, we'll try that next time. Because when we do line ahead, I figured they were going to stay in that straight line. Which would give them much better odds of hitting. But they, for some reason, want to break up, which kills me. Just kills me. So, anyways, minor and minor. Confirm. Let's leave. Get out of here. All right. Well, this has been... Uh, this has been one hell of a thing. We've been chasing around and slowly taking them out. Uh, we got new supplies coming from New Hebrides to Guadalcanal. And we've got this task force moving their way back. We'll break them off, come and chase them down. And we've got our Gato moving in. Overall, this task force doesn't stand a chance. They're, they are going down in the next episode 100%. We managed to take out that uh, Japanese submarine that was kicking our ass. So that's good. We got him out of the way this episode. And uh, like I said, we took out one of those Congos working on the next one. Going to get some torpedo runs going in soon. So I'm excited how this is going so far. We have 42 command points to spend. We'll probably get, uh, I don't know. We have a supply chain going. We have c3 so we might do another small task force just to move in and start protecting maybe another sub so we can have two out there so i think that's going to do it for this episode ladies and gentlemen i can't thank you all enough for the constant support and uh also thank you very much for all the comments that everybody's been leaving uh, it's been incredible all the help the outpouring of help people giving me ideas uh that i'm definitely going to try so the line line ahead i got an idea from uh, paul paul if you're watching i used it uh, it seems to work really well. I kicked that one Congo's ass. I just need to figure out if you're watching, can you tell me why if I say attack for all of them, they start to break apart? I'd like to try and figure that out because I'd like them to stay in line. Um, also getting comments uh, attacking from port side and starboard side. Shabby, I'm listening. And uh, so we kind of try and get that going. I need some dive bombers, really. I think I'm going to try it with the B-17s again and also try and figure out why we aren't getting any 
uh, anymore. We only have four, so we're, now we're down to three. Need to see when those actually resupply. But yeah, that's all in store for the next episode. So if you guys liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and the video. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And if you want to see more videos like this and many more soon, please consider subscribing. Uh, can't thank you all enough again. Until next time, I'm going to get this next video taken care of. And I hope you guys have an incredible day. Take it easy.